Hi, my name is Gerald Orr. I'm with Central Allied Enterprises. I'm the Chief Executive Officer. I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank all of our employees that showed up in the hallway earlier. Those were the people that uh, uh, are looking forward to Contract 563A being awarded to the low bidder. We feel we have the best qualifications. We were the low bidder. We have 170 employees in Stark County. We have 100 are reside in Stark County. We have been in business uh, under different names, but we go back to 1929. Our ODOT pre-qualification uh, allows us to do $138 million worth of work. We're more than qualified. We have the people. You saw the people out in the hallway that would be doing the work, and I believe that they're capable of doing it, and we're the low bidder, and we should be awarded the contract. Thank you. And if I may, by the way, clarify for the record, just you know, several, oh, you can notice about it. Um, you know, several minutes before the meeting started, it was you know, brought to my attention that there were a number of employees, yes. you know, uh, from Central Allied here today, and I don't know who else may have been here, but, but a relatively large number, a larger number than we have room to sit in this facility. Um, and based upon that, just so that everybody understands this, we were prepared, if necessary, to adjourn the meeting just to move it up to a larger room upstairs because the one thing that we don't want to do is to limit in public access to our meeting. Um, the fact then that most of the people left, I guess, you know, we, we and asked them to leave so kind of at the request. Led to us then continuing to keep the meeting here, but um, you know, the board comes to be as transparent as possible and to keep all of our meetings open and public as much as possible. So we were prepared to move the meeting up so just so that everybody who wanted to talk and had all 100 people wanted to talk by the way we were prepared to, to do that under our public speech session. Thank you. Terry. Okay. And good afternoon uh, honorable commissioners Terry Seberger, uh, resident of North Canton in Stark <coughs> County, affiliated with Central Allied Enterprises probably close to uh, 20 years so that probably tells you what uh, I think of them. Uh, <coughs> I appreciate the fact that you were willing to have up to another 75 uh, people here, uh, but we also appreciate the fact that you had space limitations <coughs> and uh, that the point was made. Uh, um, yesterday at about 2.10 uh, or so, Marilyn Hoover called and was gracious enough to send me a copy of the Stark County Sewer District uh, recommendation the letter, and obviously on a uh, short uh, uh, notice, so I wanted to put together a response. Uh, and with all due respect to the sewer district, I, mean, I thought that first of all, that it had some inaccuracies, uh, that it was unfair, and uh, gave only one side of what I think is a very complex issue. So, what I provided uh, to the uh, Board of Commissioners uh, uh, this morning, we tried to buy fax, but I understand the fax machine uh, couldn't handle it, uh, it was uh, kind of my rebuttal. And, uh, and really, I, I did not have time uh, to uh, do the job I would have liked to, but it, it is what it is. I mean, there are four or five points I want to make. Uh, Jerry has made a couple of them already. One, that we were the low bidder. I mean, there's a reason for public bidding, and that is for the taxpayers to get the best price you know, possible. And two, uh, and this is an inaccuracy you know, that I found within the report provided by Stark County Sewer. Uh, I believe it identified under bidder profiles that uh, Wenger excavating the number two bidder is a Stark County uh, company. That caused me to go onto the uh, company's website and onto the uh, Secretary of State uh, website and determine that Wenger is actually uh, a Dalton, uh, Wayne County uh, based uh, company. And if you recall from the uh, bidder profiles, uh, I think it identified the Wenger's having 20 employees from Stark County and Central having 80. We think it's closer to 100, but 80 or 100, uh, I think the point is made. Another inaccuracy uh, that I found uh, was uh, that Wenger was identified as having no uh, OSHA violations. I supplied uh, to the uh, commissioners in my report to evidence that at least a couple quote unquote serious violations dating back to December of 09. And my point in doing that is not to denigrate uh, Wenger excavating in any way, but to make the point uh, that uh, all contractors uh, have an 
employment issues uh, and other issues they have to deal with. I mean, for example, I saw in the report from Stark County a sewer kind of an insinuation that Wenger has never uh, had any problems. And, you know, frankly, in the 20 years I've been doing construction work, not just for Central, but for other companies, and seeing uh, what other companies are experiencing and through their attorneys and courtrooms, when you get projects of this size, especially underground projects, uh, it is impossible not to have change orders, and it is impossible not to encounter unforeseen circumstances. It is impossible not to have to re-engineer things because of the things that they just didn't know were underground. It is impossible not to need extra time. So, what I tried to do uh, was, because I only saw uh, some uh, references for Wenger, I supplied several, and if I had more time I could have gotten some additional ones uh, that relate uh, to a central allied uh, to show, yes, central allied has a lot of experience in underground work, sanitary sewer, storm sewer. That's the reason no doctor qualified them specifically for sanitary sewer work. But they've gotten good marks. Uh, and that brings me to another point. I, I know that you know, Stark County Sewer and uh, Central uh, had a couple tough projects uh, three, uh, four, or five years ago. I mean, and there's two sides that story. I've attempted to give you the other side in what I supplied, but rather than, you know, go back and say who was right and who was wrong, Central did something. Central uh, proactively in the last couple of years did something to improve their capabilities. They hired a superintendent, Bush Young, who was one of the guys who uh, was here, uh, and he has at least six and probably by now seven or eight uh, uh, projects on underground work, sanitary sewers, and uh, one of the references that I supplied to you uh, from uh, Columbiana County it says, and I'm almost quoting it, uh, I would not hesitate to work with Butch Young again. Uh, they've hired uh, new operators, a new pipe layer with underground experience in Equally importantly, Scott Kameen, who's been a PE in this community, professional engineer for 20 years, is a new addition to the Central's workforce. So what Central has done is bring on people uh, who uh, add to their capability, especially at the supervisory level. And the Central, Central could start this job, could you start tomorrow, would it be uh, Monday? Rob? Uh, two days. Two days. Central in two days uh, could start the work, because I know you have deadlines, and the people who would be managing that task would include uh, Rob Woodhall, Scott Commune, uh, and Butch Young, uh, Dan Parcher would be involved. I mean, you have a professional uh, management for the project. Now, there are other points I made in the report that I gave you, I realized today is, uh, as I mentioned to somebody, uh, today is uh, day 61, but I think uh, that we can still award the contract on day 61 or 68 if both the uh, contracting authority and uh, the, the contractor agree to waive the 60-day limit. You have your attorneys who can either agree or disagree. But we feel uh, that as low as a Stark County the company is a Stark County company with a lot of experience, and I guarantee you, if you contact the Stark County engineer, City of Canton, and, uh, just to name a couple, uh, you get real good reports. I mean, those of you who drive uh, up in front of uh, Acme in North Canton, you've seen the Central Allied work up there. Those of you who've been along some of the other highways and byways, you've seen Central Allied work. It's a little more difficult to see some of their underground work because it's they're covered over. Yeah, but this company can do a job. Yeah. If those, this is a business. I mean, you can't really pay and to do above ground work for very long during the winter. And every business, including Central, if I understand uh, correctly, you know, then has to reduce their labor force. So a lot of the guys who are out here in the hall. They'd be without work for two or three or four or five months. This kind of work is the kind of work that can, can, can commence 
now and continue to through the cold months and keep these Stark County guys uh, you know, working. So, you know, I just implore you, and I know these guys, I trust them, I have a good feel for them, and uh, people here in Lake County, they've worked with me, they know that uh, they can call me and I'll do whatever I can. Uh, I really ask the commissioners uh, to respectfully uh, use your discretion. You don't have to follow the recommendation of the, uh, the sewer district. I know it's important, uh, but you can use uh, your independent discretion and award this contract to the low bidder, uh, to the bidder uh, that has the uh, local headquarters and the local workforce. Uh, I've said probably uh, more than I need to. Do you have any questions? Ask me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We have in our board packets the letter of recommendation from uh, Jim Jones, Sanitary Sewer Engineer, which is dated December 11, 2012. We have then, in addition to that, some portions of the contract as well. Government sheets, yes. And bitter for a yes. Which is also a portion of the Everybody have an opportunity to, to, to read the December 11 letter and understand what the recommendation is and why the recommendation is being made. This is the package that was sent to you. This is the package that was sent to you yesterday. Right, I did receive that package. Right? My understanding is we have two resolutions which have been prepared and I would entertain a motion.
I, I know Central Allied, I know many of the people that have worked at Central Allied through the years, but I too have to rely on my professional engineer who we have hired and placed our faith in. And sometimes we will not agree, but um, I will have to also um, go with my mind. I uh, also say it's, uh, it's, it's a good word, painful. Um, good friends with uh, George and Mark. Uh, uh, but again, I'm not, a, I'm not an engineer, and uh, I, every project that has come before me in the last four years, we've looked into it, we've talked to Mr. Jones, I've talked to him several times, um, looked upon the recommendation of, of the people that, that know what they're doing. And uh, I, have to, I have to go along with Mr. Jones and what his recommendation is. And I truly am sorry. Uh, I don't like to see jobs lost here or in the county or anything else, but again, I have to, but my feeling is I have to go with them. I'm sorry. And I also have great respect for Central Allied. Uh, we have awarded uh, numerous contracts to Central Allied and uh, many millions of dollars. Uh, this is a few years that I have been you know, sitting here on this particular board. Uh, I guess the concern in this particular contract would be the deep sanitary sewer nature of this project as it relates to the other ones you've commented on. That being the case, again, All in favor? Aye. 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 That's the unanimous vote. The motion carries. The contract will be awarded. In talking to Mr. Orn, uh, if I understood him correctly, uh, he made a statement that it's obvious that they have an agenda. Not sure who the they be our first to. <laughs> But for yourself, did, did you have any kind of an agenda and your recommendation to the no, commissioners? No, 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 no. Okay. okay.